I'll provide one of one of my own uh, incidents where I was learning from Mama in uh, in Chennai, and then it was during the afternoon time, and then Mama used to take medicines and little drowsy. I was singing this Nirnamiti Varanam, and in the second part, uh, I was a little off key. Mama was actually by that time Mama was actually like drowsy and he actually slept because he was on a chair. I went off key. He immediately opened his eyes gently, he gave me a Mona Lisa smile. and went back to sleep that's the level of shruti you know it's in his, it's in his every blood cell of his body is his shruti is is there that's the kind of perfection that that mama had when you say shruti i think you need to talk also about mama's tambura right in every kachari of mama you, you take in world recording one of uh, few musicians where you can hear the tambura so loud so clear Uh, and perfectly tuned i think that's something as a role model for youngsters right something for all of us to, to take again i can go and on and on i'm sure you all have a lot of experiences but but want to just cover a few things given the con- context right when it comes to raga singing we all know mama was brief right he was not uh, fond of no like that's coming from the arigudi parampara he was not uh fond of singing unnecessarily long he could sing he has done it but but his, his approach was he has told it in the he told in interview that he should be able to condense the raga in in 2 minutes or 3 minutes that's coming from the also the influence of dhanamal bami uh, in fact today was supposed to be in the bindamas music that mama loved a lot so all that bani he has that that values right it's not about the length it's about the quality of of what you present this what mama has said in his biography he said for raga he said raga bhava in music is more than words the words are but an instrument the raga has its own bhava you can melt someone's heart or make them happy just with raga that's the kind of this one that mama had mama has also said that a raga should be like an story it needs to have an introduction it needs in fact this what he has said it needs to have a full stop comma and a semicolon this is what mama has said he has even used the word semicolon you know that's the kind of story and uh, there are people that have said is 5 minutes of karara priya no like unfor- unforgettable experience that's the kind of no uh, impact that 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 mama had mama mama just mentioned some of mama's greatest renditions natakuranji where he made his own i'm not talking about the regular todi bhairavi yes they're always there but i'm saying that where you put a stamp right natakuranji dhanyasi kharhara priya he sang nagaswarali like like a major raga such beautiful he could he could there's a kacheri where he sang that as a main piece actually he that was he sang about about probably close to 10 minutes very long beautiful it is so that the insight that he had kambodhi of course he was a king of kambodhi so so that's about the raga kirti singing uh, the difference is i think mama was always present meaning his kritis were not like a carbon copy from concert to concert it was always fluid like he was in the moment he could add a sangti he could remove a sangti that's why mommy says padma mommy says very very hard to uh, play in you know co artist you know, or second fiddle to mama because you never know what he will sing what he will omit what he will add that's the and if you ask an mama fan he will probably reel out 100 kritis of his own easily 100 and therefore i can't quote but i'm saying like if, if you, can, you need to categorize shama shastri devi brova right mayamma whatever his own gopal krishna bharati everything vargola mo sabhapati ke eppa oru varam mama had a unique flavor uh, as compared to madhuramani madhuramani of course was great but mama has a lot of depth these are mentioned by prachi shankar mama himself that mama sipurvara has a lot of depth and they will wait right satatam tapa swatirnal kriti is right numerous and mama's contribution to swatirnal kriti is immense uh, he has sung at the navaratri mandapam for 50 years 50 50 years and the uh, 1976 and 77 the maharani asked mama to kind of record all for the turnals navaratri krishna utsav prabandham kritis utsav prabandham kritis this mama did utsav prabandham in the palace itself just with tambura accompaniment 
Mama played in one, Mommy played in one hand the tambura, other hand to the box. It was recorded in the palace without no other accompaniment. Extremely hard and, and it's beautiful. It's there. Similarly, Mama did the Navarati Matavam, Navarati Kritis in NCPA Bombay for, again with just the tambura. The Navarati Kritis are very hard because Mama has sung it in full. There, there are like three, four paragraphs he has sung everything. So it's very hard and uh, you can see without an accompaniment, without an kind of uh, this one, right? The flaws are all typically enhanced. But in Mama's case, that's not the way. It's all, you can see how blemishless it is when in, in the, that context. So I can go and all like, like Dikshtar Kritis, Subramanya Namaste, Akshay Linga Vibho, Tyagaraja Yoga Vaibhavam. I want to let you know that Tyagaraja Yoga, Mama was very open. He learned Tyagaraja Yoga Vaibhavam from John Higgins. Arikuri Mahal didn't sing it. He learned it from John Higgins. Ninne Nammi Nanu of, of Shama Shati learned from someone and looked at, heard some tape. But then you now you remember only Mama's version. You don't know what was that reference that Mama. That is the kind of refinement that Mama does, right? That's the... Shivan Kritis, right? Shiva Kama Sundari. All like classics of uh, Balakrishnan Padamalar, right? All classics. I can go on and I'm, I'm sure you all have no like multiple... Uh, uh, Vas Vasudeva Charakritis. I want to mention that Mama learnt Vasudeva Charakritis from Vasudeva Char himself. When Arikudi, when when he was accompanying Arikudi Mama to Mysore, Arikudi Mama used to was he was very open. He told Mama to go and learn from Vasudeva Char. He's he's next to you. And both were same Guru Bandhus, right? Vasudeva Char also was from Patnam, uh, and uh, Arikudi Mama's Guru's Guru was also Patnam. And Mama's Sri Chamundeshwari, Brocheva Revurra. Ninne Nami Naya, Ninne Namiti Naya, Palukova Devi, all from Vasudevachar. And you can see Mama's brochava aurora is, is very unique. If you listen very care, subtly, it's very beautiful. It's a little different from others. Very nice. There are some very uh, beautiful Sangatis that, that you've not heard from other artists. Coming to Laya, right, I'll just quote one thing. Kari, there, there are, of Laya is a very big field. I think he's a master here. But I want to say, Mama, Kari Kodi Mani Mama has said in an, in an interview, that when you want to play for Mama, he said, you can play listening to the sound of Mama's Talam on his thigh. That's what he has said. You don't, you don't need to look at the Talam, he's saying. That is the uh, uh, understanding that he had of what's being played. Of course, Laya is in many forms. Mama's Hechareka Garara, Ninumina Gamari. He has sung everything, Mishana Dai Pallavis, Khandana Dai Pallavis. Everything has been done. But I'm saying that you know, like it's all subtle, but it's not uh, it's not uh, extroverted demonstration of that. But it's very subtle. That's why it's so hard. It's very hard. Uh, Mommy says that I will not mention the name, but one very big musician. When Mama sang a song, Taya Yashoda, it seemed that musician seemed to have said, by the time I could understand the Kala Pramanam, the song is done. It's so tough, so tough to understand the Kala Pramanam, What's going on there? Because it's very subtle. Ninnu Vina Todi, that's another difficult piece where no like it's also what what they get Randan Gata they say, right? Middle speed. And uh, Mama's Fara singing. Shankar Mama has said very beautifully. He's, he's saying that he, Mama Shankar Mama loves Kevin Mama very much, and he also mentioned about Mama's Fara singing that he says is very challenging because there is no Kanak as a straightforward. Uh, approach, but lot of subtle things where Mama, Mama says Vodukkal, that you do, that you must be you must be in sync. And Shankar Mama himself said that Mama's combination with Ragu Mama, he saying is legendary. He he used to sit in the audience to listen to Mama and Ragu Mama. He says, so if you look into Mama's no like Paridana Michite, all like it will be in very high speeds but very precise, kind of bouncy structure, right? Nerval, I think we don't need to say anything. Mama was called Nerval Narayana Swami, right? He was called Nerval Narayana Swami. But I think what is uh, special, because everyone did Nerval, right? Not just Mama. I think the difference is the place Mama gave Nerval in the concert. Mama gave it a prime. You cannot, in all my years of listening, I have not heard a single concert where the main piece does not have Nerval, for example. And... Four and five nervals are very common. That's not uncommon in a, in a kachari. Correct. That's also there. 
So to, the, to that point, me and my students were listening to a concert of Kain Maman Krishna Gana Sabha last week. This I know because Mama himself told me. He sings Sujana Jeevana, Krishna Gana Sabha Kacheri. He forgot the Charanam one line. So what do you do? You do Nirval. I'm saying it's so natural for him to do Nirval. Nirval was, was second uh, nature. He did Nirval for a few hours, they reminded and continued with Kriti. So that's the kind of mastery that he had. I was in a concert with Kala Rasna and in, he was singing Andavane, Shanmukha Priya of Shivan. He did, did a Nirval at a point where no one knew it existed. And uh, my cousin Srivatsan said in the radio concert, it's so tough. Mama sang Annapurne with Nirval in the Charanam. And it's, it's not easy to sing Nerval in Sama. That too. And you know this Mama, at least when I have been with Mama, Mama had never practiced or something. It's more of internal. To sing it on the stage and for, for, for live going on and for someone to accompany is not, not easy. But Mama, some of legendary Nervals, in the Sokyum, he brought it into the, into the main, uh, it was not really in the main piece, right? It was sung as just a piece. Ah, Vaad Kala Pramanam, right? Satatam Tavaka, outstanding peace and outstanding place for Nirval. Mama Hridi Vasanisham, Madhusudana Shavre, right? Subramaniya Namaste, of course, Aryakudi stamp, he, he, he outstandingly uh, covered. There's a uh, recording in 1975 where he has sung Nirval in Suruti, Angaraka Mashayamiham, second piece itself, there's, it's, a, it's a Tuesday. It's very hard to do Nirval in uh, Suruti. I'm saying there's one important thing. To these days we do, we all do, but that is the reference, is what I'm saying. To be original, to, to have conceived something is, is what? And of course, people can always copy. Today, technology also like look at YouTube. I, I can look at an, uh, an uh, raga that I don't know and, and learn it. But for someone who has conceived that, right? He is the source, right? That's, that's why we call him, call them role models, right? Hecharika Garara, right? Uh, the uh, Nerval in uh, Sri Chamundeshwari, Raka Nishakara, it's just legendary. Sri Pate, Right? Mohanamai. We talked, Mama has done Nerval in the Pallavi in Mohanamai. It, typically it's, it's, it's thought of as novel, but it's like in Pallavi, Mama has done Nerval. Akshay and Gibbo, so, so many. So, I think Mama, I think, no, of course, Musri was the inspiration for Mama's Nerval. Mama really gave it full treatment, like uh, first speed, middle speed, uh, Madhyam Kala and then next speed. So, and Swaram, I want to mention that Mama's enhanced the effect by doing that what, Koraipur, right? That reduction of, that, that actually enhanced the effect of uh, this one. And the post main Kriti is of course, that's something that Mama's special, right? Uh, Mama gave ample time in the concert for all post main Kacharis, like for post main Kritis. Mama mentioned Krishna Ni Begane Baro, Jagadot Dharana. I'm talking about because we, the, today is, uh, we are celebrating Gokulashni. Pogadirlo Ranga, right? Mama gave it and Ashutra was mentioning that. Kandu Dhanya Nade, right? Or all the Vedanayakam Pillai Kirtis, Ramalinga Swami Gal Kirtis, Tirupavais, Ramanatakams, Nali Nalanal, Varamamali Jir Kirtis. I think he had, he had a huge repertoire of post main uh, Kirtis, which endeared many. Many people wanted to come to listen to that part. He mentioned Krishnani Begane. And uh, Mama's virutam and some shlokams were something that people look forward to. Semangodi Mama seems to have said that Mama shlokam virutam apadi na odumbula irukkara punn ella poyidu. He said, he said like, you'll get cured of diseases if you listen to Mama singing virutam. So I think one is Mama was very uncompromising in everything that he did. I have attended a concert, uh, a marriage concert, a concert where it was some Swami girls in Agrish, entirely fully noisy. But Mama sang the same way that he would do always. Probably there hardly anybody would listen to it. I had, I had a concert with Mama in Madipakam. There was a Papnasham Shivan Sangeet Sabha. Mama was the president. That those days it was very far, near the airport. There were hardly a single digit number in the audience. But Mama that day sang the most detailed Bala Gopala, Tiruvadi Sharanam, Hecharika Garara. So basically Mama was not like he was on his own. He didn't need audience to kind of you know, like lift him up or what. He, he was always at the very high, high plane. That's something you know, he didn't need people to 
but they inspired him the freely but but it came from within i i, I had a concert with uh, in the mysore ganapati sachinand swami ashram mama was singing and in between the concert shriram kumar anna said uh, mama or pallavi padunga naal naal ragam pallavi padunga he just sang then and there that's all i know a concert with uh, with shrivasan and jay vidyanathan uh, jay anna said mama and dasharatha bala naal kalai pallavi padunga okay on this part four kalai pallavi actually uh, to be honest i'm just like they had challenges mama didn't have any challenge they want the, they were the ones who asked for it mama just sang it they were having it all. and i remember a concert mama came back and said he sang a pallavi he came home and said nine ki and the pallavi paadle and nenikave illa and he just came and sang a pallavi and came back basically it's on the spot right it's not not much mommy said she he, she never knew what mama would sing so so i think uh, this what i want to just briefly say it for you to get some no like everyone knows the i told this some these are some of the elements but you know his greatness so i want to say just one thing shruti pattabiraman sir said in his uh, in the shruti article right he said a beautiful thing he said mama's music was sampradaya sangeetam but modern it was robust yet reposeful it was knowledgeable but not heavy it was technically skillful but always aesthetic it was replete with emotion but not cloying it was art music as it should be he said uh, mama's music was like gold when the medium was brass when the medium was currency was brass mama's music was like gold he said that's the that sums it up i think here